you get in the alignment all the way to the front. Boot camp. No matter which military service you're going into, it's tough. It's also demanding for those who supply new recruits with their basic needs. We process approximately 35,000 kids each year. What we provide is everything from ABUs, that's the initial uniform, to the dress uniforms, and we sell approximately $4 million a month in uniforms, uh, about $48 million a year. Here at Boot Camp Great Lakes, we handle all the recruits that are inbound for the Navy. We have about 43,000 recruits on an annual basis. Like most DOD facilities, Lackland and Great Lakes procure their clothing items from the Defense Logistics Agency, the Department of Defense's worldwide combat logistics support provider and they both participate in DLA's customer-driven uniform manufacturing program, CDUM, an R&D effort to re-engineer and streamline clothing issue processes. But while Great Lakes tracks inventory using an earlier and largely manual system, Lackland is a test site for an emerging technology that makes its uniform supply mission significantly more manageable, RFID, radio frequency identification. We feel the, the, the barcode scanning is not good enough. So we look into the potential of RFID. It is a vision. Eventually, you trickle down to the source that is the manufacturers that provides all the item. It reads everything that's in that bag. It will tell us if there's too many in that bag, if there's not enough in that bag, and also give me the sizes of items in that bag. This item information is automatically transmitted to DLA's Troop Support Office in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to use for inventory replenishment and readiness planning. Because clothing textile is one of the major commodity that DLA manages, and it really has a very high visibility. So CNT really has a very tough requirement on them. They have to have a 100% fill rate. Anything below 100%, they fail the mission. Well, the benefit to the warfighter is that it saves them time. Prior to RFID, it was taking us three hours to process approximately 50 kids. Now we're less than an hour, so it gives them two hours back to training that they wouldn't have if we were still under the old process. All right, make a line behind shoot number three. Building on this success, DLA is preparing to expand the use of RFID technology to improve operations throughout the supply chain, promising even more efficient supply operations in the future. Go ahead and meet your flight outside.